Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Escape from Tarkov. Uh, we're not doing this one as a stream this time, uh, so there's no live chat. Uh, we're doing it offline. Uh, it's been a bit of a fun day for me, uh, and I've got a little bit of time to kill, so I figured we'd record an episode. There's a small chance my brother may join us across the course of the evening, uh, so I do have chat on. If he drops in and says hello at some point, then we will of course uh, switch from doing solo stuff to doing duo stuff. Still very much on the tail end of my cold and full disclaimer, I have had a couple of pints already. Uh, so without further ado, let's have a quick summarize of where we are with our character. I've just gone through and done the logistics of taking back all of our insurance claims. Our pilgrim backpack came back. This is just like unheard of. It sh I, I thought that this would have been gone. In addition, we got a scab BP and two MBSSs back. All of these scab vests, this WT rig, the coal pack, the packer, uh, both of these AK-74Ns and both SKSs and a whole bunch of uh, magazines to go with them. And uh, unfortunately, the MPX came back, so we're going to have to use that at some point. Um, but uh, overall, uh, given our money is a little bit low, I'm not really that annoyed by the fact the MPX came back. Right, we're going to take an AI2, we're going to take a bandage, and let's very quickly put these in. So for money, we're down below 150, which is, it's low. I'm, I really want to kind of start beefing this up. I think if we take one of the AK-74s in, uh, we're going to need some PRS ammo. That's fine. And if we do a shoreline run, we'll try and hit as many safes as we can and uh, see if we can get some money out of this. So uh, trading proper, give us PRS ammo. We need 60 for the gun and the extra mag and then another 60 to hold. So let's say 120 for the moment. So that comes down here, this comes across, and this goes in here. We're taking the WT rig out just in case we find something big we can bring back. Uh, but overall, I'm generally happy with the fact that we got so much stuff back. It's a real surprise. Uh, yeah, 60 spare ammo should be enough. Wait, which... Um... Customs? No, we don't want customs. We want shoreline. So escape from Tarkov, PMC, shoreline. And let's do it in the afternoon. Probably village and work our way round and down towards the pier boat. I think that's going to be the best bet. Tough call. There's no, there's no good way to get where we want to get. Uh, we want to get to this area here um, because we know that there's a bunch of safes in this area. I don't want to do cottage runs with a pilgrim backpack. I think that would be dangerous and reckless. But starting in the village seems like a reasonable plan. We are going to ensure all of this because I mean it came back from us. Uh, it came back for us once. So, so our total expenditure for this is 12k for insurance plus 6k for ammo. So if we get 18k out of it, then I'll consider it to be a good run. In the meantime, let's carry on drinking. Oh man, I wish the uh, the last of this hay fever slash cold slash whatever it is would just clear out. Always feeling that there's something like in the back of your nose, in the back of your throat. It is absolutely the worst. Now the first uh, first map loading is always going to be a bit slower of an evening, just while it caches everything. But from uh, from here on out, hopefully things should be a little bit faster. We still want to watch out for the lag spikes, and we definitely want to watch out for hatchlings doing strange dart behind cover, dart back out things. 
mostly because that means that the network latency is pretty bad and we're likely to get axed in the face. We do have a cold pack at the moment, which will help us a little bit, and packer, which will help us a little bit. But uh, we can't rely on them. Yeah, we're deploying instantly. Along the wall, good. Right, full auto. Road to customs is where we're kicking out. And we don't have the flashlight on this gun because I don't think we're going to need the laser sight. I've drunk way too much to make that worthwhile. I say way too much. I've not actually drunk that much. I've only had two pints, but not having eaten enough throughout the day and being a little bit dehydrated, it all adds up to the uh, inebriation factor, let's say. Right, let's start crouching already. And slow down just a tiny bit. So this is kind of the point where we might start seeing people. Hell, we might have start, started seeing them anywhere, but... This is more likely for scav spawns. Have you ever noticed how when you're trying to pay attention to sounds, you naturally lower your own voice? I do that. I'm also guilty of uh, doing the reverse and when things get intense and exciting, massively increasing my volume for no justifiable reason. And listening is such an important part of this game. It really, really is. Looks to be clear. Let's go down. We'll check out the uh, the little store that sometimes has Tashonka. Apparently that has money. Apparently both of those, well, I don't know what it has, but we'll get it. Don't see anything on the shelf. Let's uh, start looting. Hey! The trip has been worthwhile. 18k well spent. As soon as the rubles get above... In fact, the rubles is already worth more than the PRS. Energy drink. Squash and nothing in here, right. We'll use the squash. A squash spread. Mmm. Not exactly rehydrating. But good for energy or something like that. The energy drink will be better. We don't really want to go out that way. We want to go back out this way and back in the direction we were going. We could of course find scavs to engage with but 
that's not the point of us being in that particular place. So Tashonka and 10k. All right. Quiet for the moment. Drink a bit more. Is that at us or is that at someone else? We'll be careful as we move up here. Slow down if we need to, because there could be someone up the top. Trying to snipe down towards the road. It's a good place to pick off scavs from. Especially if you have any form of sight or scope or anything like that. I could have sworn we could get up this bit. I guess not. Maybe it's been changed. Or maybe I'm misremembering and it's a bit further along. Either way, we are being very loud at that point, And I think we hurt our legs. Tiny bit. up quite high so very possible I was just aiming too high and I think I was I think that was just me getting a bit disoriented and there was one time when there was two people up here and I only saw one of them. As it is, I don't see anyone at all. I think they've stopped you getting up right on the very top top though. Okay, let's speed up our movement. We can try this again. No, you can if you jump. Okay. Single shot. There was another one over to the left that we saw as well. Right, 100 meter zeroing. Just need them to actually show their face. Ah, 
Ah, shift is toggle hold breath, okay. Dead. Well, I think it went near us, but it didn't actually hit us. Mag drills. We don't know where the other one would have gone. So time for a sensible reload. And then a sensible reload. Five bullets down, one scav dead. I don't think that he's still around. I think he may have been picked off. Ah. Is he dissing me? I think he's probably checked out. Regardless, we'll change to full auto mode. And we'll hit down and round. Yeah, he's definitely gone. Still, we good. took a couple of plinks at him. Focus on the small victories. Hold this. And take it with us. Uh, mm, take that. That can go down here. I heard someone moving around. Or maybe it was just our searching. Always possible. Bang. Let's use that and we'll put the cap in here. Okay, time to move on. We are, of course, still looking for more medical 
supplies, slower, things like that. Morphine as well. Right, let's get off the road. Full auto until we know that we're in a safe place. Now, if there was another person, they may have died around here, or they could have run off that way and been killed by the other person that we saw. But either way, we need to be aware that there could be a body nearby. Okay, nothing too much. Well, don't really want to go over to Scav Island. Let's uh, sit in the bush for a second while we top up our beer level. We'll hurry on in a little bit. I think if we get to the uh, gas station next. And then we'll slow down and be cautious again when we do that. Not really that interested in checking for the cottage key, as I mentioned before. I think that would be a bit dangerous in my current state. Hearing combat going off in different places. Hard to place. Occasional bullets. I think they could be coming from over the um, the mansion. Or they could be coming from the gas station. Or even further away. Maybe up at the resort. single shot mode. Let's see if there's anyone guarding this. I saw someone down at the beach running along. Yep, definitely someone there. Might, oh geez, I was going to say might have got a couple of dings on them, but obviously there was someone just off to our left that we hadn't seen and a single shot to the head. Single shot to the head with a big gun. That's all it takes. <sighs> That's a shame. Still, we got it to Shonka and we just pushed into level nine. So we're going to lose the Pilgrim backpack. We're going to lose the gun, which sucks. Um, but we did get a Tashanka and we got 10k out of it, so we're not like completely without any form of benefit from that. Okay, so let's take the MPX in. I think we'll just do a run with the MPX and we'll see if we can fast scoot. So, escape from Tarkov, PMC. 
Gonna go for shoreline. Yeah, afternoon. Uh, let's... Let's go Riverside this time. May as well insure it. 6k, do it. I'll, ins I'll insure it just in case it comes back. I mean, whoever finds it will go, oh my god, no, I don't want that. Ah, oh, good evening. I just died. Uh, I just lost my pilgrim backpack, and it's definitely gone this time. How do you know it's definitely gone this time? Um, I saw a PMC, and I took three pot shots at them, and then someone else with a gold crown on their name um, killed me with a single headshot to my left. Doesn't mean it's definitely gone. They still might die before they extract. That's a very good point. I hadn't thought about that. But realistically, I, I think it's gone. I was, uh, I was just telling the viewers that um, I'm doing a very quick uh, MPX run, uh, which means I'm only taking the MPX in and some ammo because I hate the MPX and I really don't care if it goes. But I'm ensuring it just in case because if people find it, they're going to go, oh my god, it's an MPX. No. Yeah, but they are quite valuable. So even if I found one, I would take it. Also, they strip down really well. Like, like you can just ditch so much of it, and it ends up being one by three. I think <laughs> one by three. That's like crazy. All right, uh, right. So we've ended up by this wall. All right, I'm. I see where we are. So we're actually right by the um, morphine hut. Uh, do you know the uh, the drug den hut? The, the what hut? Uh, the drug den hut on shoreline where there's the um, like mattress and the tin which sometimes has the cocaine in and sorry the morphine in and the big crate and the other big crate. Right, the weapons house, I call that weapon shack. Oh, shotgun! Ah, oh, shotgun and an AK. Oh my god, I wish I had a backpack. Why did I not bring a backpack with me? I know why I didn't because I didn't want to have to deal with it. Uh, so I've got a 133. Cool. I'm going to take that out because that will be useful for a quest. What is that? Two AKS 74 use. I wish I had a backpack. Uh. And a 6L31. All right. So I'm going to drop uh, the TT grips. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to take... Oh, don't forget the AKs can be folded. I've got no backpack. It doesn't matter. Uh, no. Yeah, I suppose. If I get a backpack, I'm coming back here because there's three guns that I can't carry. So, we are now going to go to Bunker, try and kill some scavs, get a backpack, come back to the weapon shack, grab the three guns that I can't carry, and then make our way to extract. That seems quite reasonable. And all of this with an MPX um, with one mag. Which we can't extract the mag because we don't have a backpack to extract the mag. I also don't have a, a tactical rig because I thought it's an MPX. I really don't care. So well prepared for this as you can tell. Yeah, the uh, um, the shot that the person did, um, I was wearing a cold pack, but whatever ammo they used, it went straight through the side. Okay, so we're going to assault the bunker. The bunker's actually pretty good because sometimes there's a dude up on top here. It's clear at the moment. Which, oh, jeez. Someone took a shot nearish me. Oh, yeah, it's actually a... one dead. Two dead. Let's change back to ah. Damn it, single shot to the head and I'm down. Alright. 
Well, we got a 60 round mag out of that. So again, it was totally worthwhile losing the MPX and getting a 60 round mag. And the way we were killed, it was the scav that killed us on top of that mountain rock outcrop. No one goes there. Um, Are so you talking about the sniper scav? Uh, no, it was it was actually one of the bunker ones, but I was at the um, at the rock opposite the sniper rock. Uh, you know, okay. if you're if you're assaulting from the road to customs side. So my my body is in a little nook on top of that. It's very unlikely anyone's going to find it. So once again, we're going to get that MPX back. Um, so hilarious. Uh, right. 60 round mag, that's one out of the three we need. Is it three or six? I think it's three. What, 60 round mags that you need? Yeah. It's six, and he gives you three back, I think. Ah, yeah. So we've got, we got one of those. I've got two well, select... that's how it used to be. Yeah. Of course, they've all changed, so... I've now got a six shunker, a gas analyzer, a morphine, a graphics card, two slower, two 3Ms... Overall, it feels like it's going quite well. Okay. Let's... So, the entire plan for this evening is spending all the returns that I got in order to uh, try and get Bitcoins out of the safes on Shoreline. Needless to say, it's not exactly going according to plan at the moment. Distractions and deaths. So let's take PRS. We'll take another 120 PRS. So that's 30 in there. 30 in there. 60 to take with us. So we've got a gun. We have a spare magazine ready to go. Scav backpack. Cool. So hopefully this time we'll actually be able to carry stuff. It'd be so much easier if we actually had a wallet, but uh, we haven't gotten lucky with that. So, uh, PMC once again. I mean, if, if we run out of stuff here, then I'll do a scav run. But for the moment, uh, we'll just stick with what we've got. Uh, let's go for 6.30 in the afternoon. Start at Riverside again. We're not out of money yet, anyway. All right, synchronizing with other players, awaiting players who haven't cached the map yet, blah, blah, blah. At least that's my assumption. All right. I think I just did a Torment 13 rip in under three minutes. Congratulations, that's really, really good. Also, I hate your character. <laughs> while, not, while not paying attention. Yeah, the Impale build is pretty, pretty amazing. There's nothing wrong with being a mobile tactical missile. Right. Full auto. I've started near the... Uh, da -da -da -da. Is this near the radar tower? I think it's near the radar tower. It is the radar tower. Okay. So let's check the radar tower. <coughs> There's filing cabinets in the radar tower, so. God damn it, that's the second or third ancient clock eye I've got.
Not Primal Ancient, though. No. Primal Ancient Clucko would be hilarious, but also not good. Okay, let's go upstairs. Save. Someone's nearby. I'm set to full auto. If this person comes in, I am totally going to muller them unless they move within, like, a second. It's also possible they've just killed everyone nearby, but not actually. Right, let's start looting. I'm gonna have to just hope. Sounds far enough away that I don't need to worry too much about it. That sounds close, though. New key. Another new key. Both dorm keys.
skill attention up to level two. So we are actually making progress with our character, if nothing else. Although we are full of so much crap. Ooh, figurine. All right, uh, let's drop those. I think it's time we moved on. Uh, let's take those random ammos. And run on. Uh, I think we should go to the weapon shack. Which is probably down this way. And then round a bit. When I say round a bit, of course I mean round a lot. We've got 52 minutes until we need to extract, which is great. We'll keep it on full auto for the moment. What we're doing at the moment is we're just kind of skirting the resort area. While well, we head what I consider to be north, but when you look at the map itself, probably isn't actually north, it's probably south. That's the uh, the hut that we're going to just up there. That's where all the guns were last time. I wonder what the most guns you can actually fit into a pilgrim is. Or scab backpack. Um, well, given that you can deconstruct some MP4s or some yeah. guns down to one by one. Well, I mean, like fully functional guns. Even if you take all the parts out, you still uh, need folded to. Folded Tos one by three. Or pistol, I suppose. Well, yeah, I don't really count pistols. I should have said worthwhile guns. I'm upgrading my loot by throwing away stuff. Uh, there was actually something that might have been worth keeping in that, but it's too late now. No guns yet, though. There's a gun. And a pistol. Right, let's find a corner-ish. This is a corner. Oh geez, I hear someone nearby. Let's move on. Mag drill, what's in it? It's full. Ooh, hello.
So we get a spare AKS 74U out of that. Let's go around to the bunker. Not expecting the rock passage to be open, but if we can extract there, that would be actually quite reasonable for this uh, this little loot run. I hear someone loudly taking shots, but I can't see them. This, this irks me. I mean, the whole being loud and taking shots irks me anyway, but... Right, there's someone down at the bunker. So, once again, 100 meters. It is a toggle. Killed in one hit. Love it. Untoggle. Let's back away. And we'll come back for the others in a moment. Mag drill. Almost full, yes, because I only used one bullet. Right, I see you there, toggle. I think he's dead. If he's not, then, well, shit. Okay, so temporarily dropping this so we can reload. Pick that up and we will drag new ammo in here. Wow, we'd actually used seven shots. I I thought we'd used like five. So two people dead down at the bunker. They are of course going to be worth looting, but before we head down there, I just want to check this uh, bag that we can reach through this gap. Fighter juice, we'll use it. It's vitally important. Ooh. That was GR71. Congratulations. It sounded a little bit intense by your complete silence. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I do like to concentrate on what I'm doing yeah. a bit. I, I figured if it was, like, super, super important, you would just mute me rather than listening to me randomly nattering. Honestly, I didn't even hear anything that you were saying <laughs> throughout the entire thing. Well, that's probably <clears throat> probably for the best. Yeah. I found an SKS mag, and I found some ammo, so I'm manually loading the ammo into it to save space. Oh. The the huge gameplay changes from actually having that mechanic in. It's it's amazing the difference it makes. Ooh, what the hell is this? It's a P Keda right. Chuck that. 
chuck that. How much space does this actually take up? It takes up two, but can I fold it? I can fold it so I can get it down to two by two. Sorry, three remaining PRS ammo, you're going. We're taking another gun out with this. Oh, he's got a black rock. All right. So we're taking a black rock out with this as well, which is an entire gun in itself. And I didn't actually need to chuck everything away that I chucked, but I did. So too late. And what have you got? Ah, uh, you got a Toz and got like an army backpack thing. Let's fold the tolls. What are we going to get rid of? Uh, let's get rid of that. And we need to get, let's get rid of that. Sure, that works. We'll wear the hat as well. Right, now we are going for extract. Ah! Oh! Don't know where. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I love it when I hear hilariously <laughs> like that. <laughs> he, it, it was a scav. And he was like... He wasn't there one moment. And he must have spawned in just as I was looting the last guy. Because I'd already uh, scouted the bit that he was at. Uh, or at least I thought I had. But uh, we've seen how they can spawn in directly in front of you. And in the past so I think that's probably what happened but as I was running away he shot me once in the leg and then I couldn't move okay raining Tarkov okay seeing as you're going to do that uh, I'm going to very quickly pop to the loo let me just uh, sort out what I actually put in here so I got an LS321 uh, tactical device which I believe is the Lego laser designator that you like uh, is it the Hollow Sun? Uh, hang on, let me just inspect. Hollow Sun LS321. Indeed it is. Yes, that so is I've, the one that I like. I found one of those, so I decided to stick it in my, uh, in my box. I'll be right back in just a couple of moments. And I have returned. 
Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's re-gear. So scav vest. We'll take an SKS out this time, I think. Uh, may as well unload the ammo from that. I've got so many spare SKS magazines. <laughs> nice. Uh, how many spare have I got? Assuming that those two go with that, I've got four spare. Because I found a bunch and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to take them with me because they're, they're quite valuable in themselves. Yeah. Okay, so I have a cabinet key, uh, dorm, uh, two blue dorm room keys, uh, 105 and 206, uh, the portable cabin key of the customs factory zone, the car key, the Yotoya one that is, yeah. the unknown key, and uh, then Dorm room keys, uh, the metal longish ones, 204, 220, uh, sorry, 203, 204, 220, and 303. Oh, you've got quite a lot then so far. Yeah, I, I found like three keys today, so it's, uh, it's not been bad. Uh, let's take an MBSS out, oh, I think. Uh, so, would you like to do a scav run, or would you like to do a PMC run? I'd like to do a PMC run on woods, because I need scav kills from there. Okay, yeah, understandable. You know, it took me about uh, two hours of semi-good and bad runs to uh, to make it through the woods one. So I'm thinking, 9.35 at night, what's your gut feel? Oh, I I don't mind, I'm, I'm easy. 9.35 at night is okay. Uh, so escape from Tarkov PMC. In fact, let me just double check. Uh, got this. I need uh, meds. So trading therapist. And a bandage. So there's the AI2. There's the bandage. AI2 goes down here. And but it's right. good. It's obviously going to be quite a problem quite quickly for us. Yeah, so it's it, on my screen it's 9.39 now. Well, yeah, it's because it's taken you nine minutes to get ready. <laughs> 9.40, and it's about to be 9.41. So I don't mind doing late night, but given you're the one that needs the scav kills, I may yeah, end I'd up... i lean away from this now. All right, okay. so back up. The other option is 9.42 in the morning. Yeah, it's 12 hours round. I guess. Yeah, alright. House side. I would recommend old station side. Really? Because house side you get all the idiot um, hatchlings. Whereas from old station side we can actually make it to that main compound. Okay. I'll take your recommendation on that. Uh, that that's just from having done it a couple of times over the last... Uh, well, yesterday. Uh, let me just ensure these. Okay. And in one level, we get to take on the mechanic quest. Which, from reading it, looks to be making an uber shotgun. Yeah. I, at least as uber as the shotgun can get. I do like that they add um, themed ones for the new people that they're putting in. I don't think Ragman's going to get any quests, but... I think he will, and I think it'll be things like collect 20 face masks, or find a ghost face mask, which, by the way, I found... Or maybe, like, kill XYZ people while wearing XYZ other things. Maybe. 
Like collect fifty you uh, fifty uh, Yushankas, but you can turn them in individually would be good. Oh yeah, a anything where you could turn it in individually would be amazing. Partial turn is is something this game desperately needs. Don't don't think about eating my microphone cable, Amos. Hello, I'm right here behind you. You've got your pilgrim on. I do. Oh my god, this is such a bad idea. Because I have no space for anything. So I figured we'd go clear the UN roadblock first. Alright, yeah. Uh, I don't think there'll be anything there, but it will give the hatchlings a chance to, uh, to die. Hello, Cobalt. Oh, geez, both cats have decided they they want lap time. Cobalt, just don't tread on the mouse. Thank you. For everyone watching at home, they will have just seen, like, the uh, big tail move in front of the webcam. Oh, are you streaming? I'm not streaming, but I am recording with the camera because... Okay. I think it's important to properly see my face when I go, ah, ah. Oh, that's fine. Right, I'm going to go around to the left of this. All right, I'm moving towards the left wall. All right. It's not looking like any contact. No, it's more I just, I prefer assaulting this uh, pile of rocks from around this side. Yeah, endurance level two. Congratulations. Yeah, having had no contact yet, I guess if anyone was here, they'd gone east and in. So should we start doing that? Uh, let's just make sure this building is clear. Okay. Because you do get spawns inside sometimes. Clear. Yeah. Hello. Checking out. Clear. Okay, coming across to you through the hole that you peeked through at me. Hello. Behind you. Uh, yeah, I okay. see. Uh, so do you want to go via the railroad or? Yeah, effectively, I suppose. really quiet on the plus side this means the camp uh the compound yes the compound uh is uh going to be hopefully well populated when we get there oh there's a tank here you're just uh behind me over there right i'm gonna have a look yeah. at the tank Uh, nothing around it. Right, I'm going around the other side of the rock. So there's a little, like, bunker compound thing a bit further ahead. Yeah, there's a weapons crate in it. Okay. And the can't, at can't remember which side it contact over the direction you're just looking far, far extreme. Uh, it was amongst some bushes. Okay, so tree line. Yeah, but I think it was just a scav. Okay, I'm going to move up to this. You're going after the weapons crate. Yep. I mean, after you told me it was there, of course. Ooh, an op SKS body. Yeah, I... sometimes you can find fully loaded guns in that. Oh yeah, I mean it's a it's a weapons crate, so. I'm 
I'm just going to move up to the next rock. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, coming. Right, sounds like contact at the camp now. That's understandable. So we're going to be coming. Dead. I don't see. Dead. Good I heard job. A voice. Ah, over that side. Yeah, that wasn't ahead for me. But that's all right. Well, it was because he was moving left. Sorry, right to left across us. PMC or scav? Scav. With full of herring. <laughs> the herring hoarder. And a 206 key that I don't care about, which I'll just leave. Okay. Are you done looting? I am. Okay. I know I'm... I left stuff on him. I'm going to take his um, tea bag. And probably his scab vest as well. Okay, I'm down by the waterfront. Okay, I'll be there in a moment. I'm by some rocks in a divot by a hill. Going up the hill slightly. Okay, so you went to the waterfront. I have eyes on the camp now. I see, quite I see a lot you. Of scabs angry. Yeah, you're very exposed up there. There's loads of scabs in there. Uh, swapping mag to reload. Jeez, do you have like a scope or something? Uh, no, just a sight. I've moved up quite far. There's someone uh, tree lining over the far side. It's a PMC from how he's moving. So I'm in between you and the camp now. Tree lining left or right? Uh, he uh, tree lined away from us uh, on uh, kind of leftish middle, just to okay, the left coming of up to your rock. yeah, ju just to the left of the um, warehouse. Thing. Okay. Although now he's far left, um, just to the right of the big rock, about where the uh, campsite is, if you know that. I do. I see. Yeah. There's two of them. Oh, jeez, above us. <laughs> I'm bleeding, so I'm going to use a bandage. Ah, oh, jeez, now I got killed. I thought we'd uh, taken out the person that was up there. I'm still alive, by the way. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Not for long, though. Ah, oh, damn, got double shotgunned. I took out a couple of people, but I think that was a few PMCs behind us. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, when you shot across at the scavs in the distance, uh, three PMCs came up and over the ridge, uh, which is when I said, oh shit, above us. Um, and yeah. Yeah, I, I turned around, shot a couple of them. Yeah, uh, I, I took but... one out and then someone else shotgunned me. But yeah, it was, it was getting flanked with the, uh, the killer. Right, let me uh, just re-gear quickly. So I need... Yeah, I need to as well. AI2 and a bandage. 
I mean, that stuff's probably going to come back. I don't think they're going to have wanted to take it with them. Uh, I need more PS ammo. Yeah, let's uh, let's get two hundred. Yeah, I don't think mine's coming back. Oh <laughs> uh, well, you you'll lose your pilgrim certainly. Right, let's take one of those and we'll take 60 PS ammo with us. And I think that's me good to go. So, Woods again? I'm almost good to go. I'm just gearing up. Do I have a helmet anywhere? Like, even if it has to be a cold pack. Mm, I don't think I do. Yeah, it's fine. because I'm considering these to be throwaway. Uh, ones I'm not bothering to like super gear. Uh, this will do. Uh, I've got a scoped APSKS this time. Mm, nice. I still haven't found. Well, I found an OPSKS body, um, but I obviously lost it just then. <clears throat> so woods again. Uh, this time eleven fourteen, I guess. Uh, yeah. And odd station side you want. Uh, I don't mind either way. Yeah, we'll go old station side. Uh, just insuring a couple of things. Sure that, thing. That, that, that. Insure. Yes. Mix. Invite. Hello. Bom, 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 No. But it's such better music than the PUBG stuff. Oh, yes, but we have different music tracks playing. Oh, well, I mean, I'm not even doing the one that's playing for me. I know, Amos. What even is that? What did you do? All right, let me... Oh, my God. That is a giant map I've just pulled off his back paw. You need to clean yourself, mate. He'll be really happy about it for the next couple of days, and then he'll go back to complaining about something else. Now he's licking the inside of my elbow. He says you don't clean yourself well enough. I... See, I was thinking it was a bit of a thank you, but today has been a busy, stressful day, so it could just be it's salty. It's a dominance thing. It's a... saying you're his bitch. <laughs> I'm okay That's with that. Grooming other cats is a show of dominance. I'm just uh, behind you to your left. Hello. Hello. So this now, is heading... Like I said, I've got an APSKS. Which is scoped, so I'm no good at close range, really. Okay. Well, I've got a regular SKS, so I'm no good at any range. I suppose I could take the scope off. Oh, no. no. The scope is is fine. It just means that you'll need to um, be careful. Hello. That's me. Hello. Now, there's a bunker around here somewhere. Is there? Ooh. Yeah. I think it's just oh, a bit ahead. Oh, no, no that's no. a plane. Yeah. But there is a bunker around here as well. Endurance up to level three. Nice. Yeah, I forgot that uh, holding your breath was a toggle until earlier. So the campsite is just a little bit further ahead and we can go up on top of the uh, things, uh, up on top of the ridge line and have a look and see if there's 
anyone worth picking at. Sure. Can be. I'm not going to bother checking the campsite for any uh, flash drives. But from here we get pretty good views. It looks to be pretty calm down there. I don't see any hatchlings running around, so we could just move down and engage. Well, I'm keeping an eye out for our various angles. Right, there's shots happening down there. Let's uh, let's move down. I like approaching this way because we've got a little ridge line here to um, kind of cover us from people coming up from the right. And then we've got a bit of tree cover as we move down a bit further. Although you need scav kills, so we could move this direction towards the um, wood trucks. Because there's almost always scavs spawning there. Oh, coming oh, towards this ahead. hatchling. Did you see him die? I did. Okay. Is that you? Yep, that's me shooting. I see someone. At the Where wood crates. I'm further... Across Killed him. Our right. Killed him. Nice. Reloading. So he's in the middle of the wood crate area. Reloading my mag. I was not taking account of range there. I was just aiming roughly on him. Okay, I'm moving up towards where the hatchling died, but I'm crawling. I'm way to the right, by the way. Okay. All right, coming back to you. Okay. Crouching. That's on our left. Yeah, I'm going to be at the hatchling in a moment. Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, do you want to take his dog, uh, dog tags? Seeing as you killed him. I think you killed him. I don't know. Got it. Yeah, I don't think it's, he has nothing else. I'm not even going to bother searching his pockets. Yep. Right, contact at the wood shack. Uh, sorry, uh, wood things. Scab, yeah. I'll let you get the kill because there's you need... There's two actually because there's one just past the... Um... Teleporting bastard. Okay. Going a bit wider. I'm going to go around this side. I'm moving back up the hill, actually, because I think we can draw attention and get flanked, which I am concerned by. The SKS is a very distinctive sound. I'm now behind you. Okay. I'm moving around to try and... Right, this guy is standing out in the open now. Killed him. I'm dangerous. Sorry. Close, as you I, sorry, I just killed him. I just killed That's him. Right. right. I'm going to crouch down because I need to reload. So, lying down. Reloading. I have moved to Bush Wookie. Actually, reloading my other mag. Okay, I'm moving in. Yeah, I'm on your right. Okay. Yeah, I, I saw you moving around-ish. So I'm going to go for the uh, the PMC first and then come back for this guy, I think. Oh 
my god, the PMC is so far away. I'm trying to get on the sniper rock nearby, but I'm not sure it's possible. They're giving up. Okay, on your I, right. I just had a bit of a lag. This may not be a PMC, this may actually just be a scab. Yeah, it's just a scav, but he's got a black rock and an MBSS. And a Saiga. And morphine. Oh, happy day. I've looted this guy. Okay. I left a duffel on him because I don't care. This is me behind you. Okay. Uh, when you say behind... Oh, over there. Right, mag, mag drill, I'm full. I'm changing mag. Okay, now reloading my other mag. Done. Okay. Our extraction is the outskirts, which is fine for us to get to in general. That's just a wall hug round. Um, but we need to get you kills. That's fine. No rush. I mean, obviously we want to extract when we've actually got stuff rather than before. Uh, yeah, but it was more for, for planning. Right, I'm going to move once again towards this edge. I'm high and up the rock, by the way. See if I can see who's doing the dinging. It's probably at Scav House. I'm going to head down and in. Okay, you're now behind trees, so I can't cover you. Okay, I'm just approaching the warehouse. Extreme contact. Really super extreme. Like that rock that we died at before type extreme. Okay, I'm now in the warehouse. Nothing. This has already been looted. I'm going to come out the back door of the warehouse and head back towards you. Yeah, I see you. I don't see you, but I'm assuming you're up this way. I'm up the rock. Sniper rock. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. You're just basically a bush. Okay, I'm behind Sniper Rock now. Uh, so walk around to the checkpoint, maybe pick off scavs there? Don't know. I think I saw a scav or someone at Workman's Hut at the far end of logging camp. I don't see anything now. Workman's Hut, no. the, the one on the far left? Far left, far, far side. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking. Just had a loading glitch. Yeah, me too. That could have just been scavs spawning in. I'm going to check the uh, the wood piles that we just came from, just in case they've spawned in there again. Okay.
I don't see anyone here. Coming back to you. Okay. Okay, let's move round the back of logging camp. Sure. Because there's sometimes a couple of scabs by those rocks. Yeah. And then there's the uh, gun shack and... Uh... And the wood pile and... Uh... Uh, is that me? Straight ahead. I think it's a uh, scav. I see him. The Moving up. I don't see him anymore. Also, I'm bleeding. Oh, no. I think I killed him. I don't think there was another. Just my bandage. No, there is another I see. I'm dead. Oh, jeez. Two hits and I'm gone. Uh, no, that was uh, Driller Drengen got me. And I was got by uh, Denchik Messi, which is probably a scav. That's two... a shame. I don't know where the person that shot me was. Yeah, two scav kills. I got one PMC kill. Oh, you got... Yeah, well, of course, yeah, you got the hatchling kill. Still. Not not bad, all in all, although I do have an excessively large number of SKS things. So, uh, do you want to do a scav run, or do you want to do more PMCs? Um, We could do a scav run, I suppose. Uh, just because I'm down to 98k of money, so. Um... Right, what do you fancy? A shoreline scav run? A custom scav run? A factory scav run? Um, hold on one second, sorry. I'm just getting my gear ready for next time. That's alright. I'm going to top up my beer. Which I'm means taking off my headphones. <laughs> There we go. I suppose I could do the same, actually. So, mm -hmm. getting stuff ready for next time. Oh my god, SKS is so expensive. Yep. Anyway, in answer to your question, uh, I would say probably Shoreline. Oh, I do have a coal pack. I'm an idiot. It was somewhere else. That's all. In fact, all guns are expensive. Uh, although I think I'd still probably prefer the uh, AKS-74U. Oh yeah, I got morphine out of that, so it wasn't a waste. Two morphines I've got now. Right, so uh, escape from Tarkov, scav. Sorry, where did you say? I reckon it's shoreline. Shoreline, okay. Uh, one twenty in the afternoon. Uh, sorry, escape from Tarkov, scav. 
Make sure I actually loaded my scab. Yep, scab. Shoreline. One twenty in the afternoon. Sounds good. Oh, you're level 10. Congratulations. Ooh, uh, so you can accept the um, mechanic quest. Oh, I guess. Yeah. I'm probably not far away from level 10. Also, I, I can start really selling things to um, Peacekeeper because his level 2 stuff is at level 10. Oh, ha. I hadn't even thought about that. Your best bet is to just to buy dollars. His cash requirement is now much higher. Yeah, so. it's now in dollars rather than in rubles. That's the difference. Right. I'm in and I'm I, still loading loot. I've got a VPO 209. Jeez. Well, I have a pistol. Okay, well, we're near bunker. Hi. Whereabouts are you? you? Are. There. Oh, hello. Uh, should we go to bunker first and steal all the stuff that's actually at bunker? Yeah, sounds good. I'm just moving my. Pistol ammo somewhere better. Actually, that's a very good point for all of the AK customs. So there is the dude up on top. I've not been able to jump up there. I don't know if that's just because I don't have the strength. I assume so. Nothing here. Nice shotgun, mate. Ah, he actually pays attention. You're spending a lot of time. Are you reloading, like, individual clips or something? Yeah, basically. I'm now unloading this one so that I can load 30 rounds into it. I just found some tracer ammo, so... Nice. Are you all right? Uh, that's not at me. I think that's uh, just at the uh, yeah. um, shoreline bit. Okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There you go, that's loaded. I don't think there's anything else in here ever. Well, screw Did you, you Mr. Scan. the outside bits? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've checked over here. Oh my god, you have a stupid hat. <laughs> I always have really cool sunglasses. So where do you want to go? Up into shoreline? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we may as well um, loot as much as we can in there. Recruit an army of scabs. Lead them to world victory. I don't know. Try not to die. Most importantly, try not to die. Oh, you've got a little... Satchel bag, tea bag. Yeah. Is there actually anything um, to loot over there? Yeah, sometimes there's a key spawn. Ah, I thought that was over the uh, over the way in the little uh, hut thing. Yeah, so did I until I actually found it. Okay. Did you go down and in? Yeah, I've gone down and in. Okay, I'm up and in. I'm 
I mean, generally speaking, we're not going to shoot anyone unless we know that they're uh, a PMC. Yeah. I just realised my lean left and lean right are unbound because I did not update on. Well, now okay. is the best time to sort did that you just out. Shoot? No, that's not me. So, I'll right, so PMC. Man, desync is real. You all right? I fired off two shots, but I was dead already. You're dead. Yep. I know I was dead already because by the time I died, I was back around the corner of a wall. Well, uh, technically, I'm in the extraction point, so I could just extract with this gun, but I think I can do better than that. I found a dude! I found a dude, he was hiding around a corner, I got some hits on him, he's probably bleeding nastily. But he was well armoured. He had like a full fort armour on. 77 XP. I did 138 damage to him. I hit him twice. I didn't even check. I was just annoyed. Right. Back to woods. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me just double check my character. I need uh, meds. Do I care about meds? I, mm, I, should, I should buy meds. I think most of my money goes on meds. Let's not buy meds. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right, escape from Tarkov. PMC. Woods. Uh, two in the afternoon. Old station. I'll ensure that. Why not? I'll ensure that. Are you going to accept the invite? Oh, sorry. I thought I had. I was uh, just replying to a message, but I thought I'd already clicked on it. Apologies. Yes, it feels like they've made the scavs more deadly uh, since the last patch. Mm, I don't if, know. If that like, was I, like even a thing. I think the desync is worse, which I think is the primary problem. Mm. Yeah, when um, you take a pot shot at a mob and all of a sudden they, uh, they move like 20 meters in a fraction of a second, that, that irks me quite a bit. And it does make me wonder as to whether, like, they were even where you were looking at originally. But I've had enough where I've got the shot perfectly on, killed them in one, and they've died. That I think it does register the shots from the client point of view. Hard to say, hard to say. Hello. I have an AKS-74U with no anything. Uh, same here. Uh, I'm on full auto mode. Yep, likewise. How many scab backpacks do you have? Every time you come out, oh. you've got a scab backpack. Uh, I think this might be my last one. I might have one more. And then I'm down to MBSSs. What am I using? I'm, I don't even have a backpack at the moment. I'm waiting to kill something to get a backpack. Are we checking inside? I figured looking through this uh, hole... Nada. Nil point.
We are now one minute in. I don't know if that's still a thing with spawns. It is. Still with me? Yep, still directly on your six. Okay. On your six, on your nine, on your right, six. Contact, oh. contact in the open, just over this ridge line. It was a okay. PMC. I, I didn't see them. I'm going round to the left. No, they're going left to right. Okay. Straight across the field. Still don't see, but I'm moving up. I see him. I don't know if he just can't see us, but I'm running closer. I'm pretty certain he's dead. I am reloading my mag. Okay, oh, I'm reloading my gun. Sorry. Change oh, someone, mag. someone else can see. Up the hill. I'm reloading. I don't know where they are, but I'm moving to cover. Grenade going out. I'm loading bullets. I see them. Got a cold place. I uh, buy a rock. Killed him. Nice, good work. Right, I'm going to check my health. Oh, my left arm is so fucked. Uh, I didn't bring any meds. Why did I not bring any meds? It's not dead, though. So I'm going to check him for meds. I'm going to reload my... clip, and then reload, and then... check him for stuff. Right, I've got meds for you. Okay, we'll call that plan B. I think I reloaded at the perfect time with the first mag. Right, I'm loading bullets. I'm loading bullets as well. Oh geez, someone else is near me. I don't see them, they're down below. I'm not near you, I can't help. That's all right. I've just- Are you dead? No. But I, he I is. back up towards me. Okay, I- I'm in this bush. Uh, to the left or to the right? Straight ahead, straight ahead. Bush straight ahead of you. It's me. I see. Hello. I could do I could do with meds now. Okay, right. There you go. Uh painkillers, bandage. I don't AI need I don't need painkillers. I just need an AI2 or something like that. There Every you go, backpack on the floor. Searching. Also, there's a black rock in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you loot the uh yeah. Alright, that AI2... Oh, perfect. I'm taking, Basically, I've just given you everything. That's I'm, fine. I'm taking both AI2s because that will yeah. actually get me up to full health. So, nothing got actually eliminated. Somehow. That is the luckiest I've ever been... I'm out of meds and I've got like 12, 12 plus 10 left on damage. Right, I'm now reloading again. Uh, I'm also out of spare bullets. Okay, I'm heading over to check the guys that you engaged before. I'm going to go and loot them in a second. Alright, I see one guy by this rock. Uh, that's the guy I really want to loot. Yeah. I just died. Oh. I heard, like, I heard a pop, and I was dead. And then I heard daka, 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 Oh yeah, yeah. Daka, daka, someone, daka. someone just ran up towards uh, where you were. That's so annoying. It was coming from over the ridge, from my point of view. 
Yeah, he's just backed down. Oh, and some... So I saw him running down the hill and then someone took a single pot shot and killed me. And I'm assuming it was him or her. Jane FFM? Possibly. Again, I didn't check. I don't really care who kills me. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, th there's no way they could have got eyes on me from where they were unless it was a team coming over. And it could have been a team. Still, two scav kills, but um, yeah. I didn't. Oh, no, I got just one PMC again. Oh, you were killing scavs. Okay, right. Well, I didn't. I didn't mean to. That explains I mean... where they all suddenly came from. I I was killing things that were attacking me. Yes. Uh, right. So I need to get myself a new gun. I suppose I could take out one of the awesome guns, but I kind of want to do that when I've actually got armor. I'm taking out another AKS 74U. Uh, right. Yeah, let's take out another 74U. I can I can afford it. Uh, right, Ragman, give me a scav vest at least. And Prapper, give me... I'm actually going to take some ammo this time. I'm down to 40k in cash. Well, if you run out, he, uh, you get freebies. What? That, that seems like hacks. Right, escape from Tarkov PMC Woods in the afternoon. It's easy enough to get money I and mean, you just do scav runs and you can make a lot of money very quickly. It's just inconvenient being poor. Don't like it. Um, yeah. So I'm on the 3.25 PM one. Uh, there we are. So I basically got the same loadout as last time. Yeah, pretty much the same for me as well. And still no backpack. And still no meds. Because who needs meds? Well, I quite like meds. Yeah. I honestly thought the person that was uh, standing in the open... Although, uh, you probably got the kill on them, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I took most of the damage from the PMC. And then when I was following up on the second one from when we moved up on the body, that was a scav. And then from yep. that scav, there was another scav. Yeah. It all compounds really quickly. And yeah, from where I was, I couldn't see any of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the game with its um, foliage occlusion is pretty intense, where just the slightest wrong angle, you can't see anything right. Full auto, just in case. Because no one likes an early engagement. What do you reckon? Straight to the site? Yeah, I suppose. Do you know offhand how many kills you still need? Uh, no, but I could find out. It's not urgent. It was uh... probably still six. Okay. There's the plane. 
Still got your stupid hats on. How many hats do you buy? I, I buy a hat each time. <laughs> Is that just so you don't have a shiny dome? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna stick with you. I don't like this way of getting up. I prefer across I'm this not way. Sure we can get up this way. I think you can. I think just think you need to be better. And when I say better, I just mean more experienced. More strength. Yeah. Right. I think we should be a bit more aggressive and move down. Uh, yep, that's exactly what I was doing. So straight for the uh, wood trucks? Yeah, basically. How much wood could a wood truck truck? Right, contact at the wood trucks. Uh, moving right to left on the left hand side now. Moving further past to the left of the wood trucks. So standing in the open, heading towards the compound. Don't see them at all. A single person with a shotgun. I'm almost at the wood piles. He he's now at the compound entrance. I'm I'm going to engage. So changing single so he's shot. Down in the, he's down in the no area. no no. He's he's up on the edge near me. I'm engaging now. Shot him once. He ran down the hill. So he's now prob. Are you right? Yep, just killed a dude. Maybe two dudes. Whereabouts? Two dudes. I see someone I'm at. Going down. Oh, that that's you. All right. You may have killed the one that I shot then, who was running down. I heard a guy up the slope to my right. To your right. Oh, jeez, I'm getting shot by someone. Right, got a dude. Cool. I think you probably got the one that was shooting at me. Someone at the wood piles. Right, I'm lying down in the grass near the wood piles. Reloading. Is that Kill you shooting? Uh, yeah, I killed the dude at the wood piles. Thanks. Lying down in the bush and reloading. Uh, my chest has been hit, but not too badly. I'm putting bullets into my secondary mag. Yeah, I'm reloading as well. Then I'm going to go and loot the dude along the top that I just killed. So yeah, I killed uh, Captain Dunn. Uh, PMC and a scav at least. Oh, Probably very nice. Scav. Where's the other scav? Oh, Over is that there. you moving towards yes, the wood? Me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, so this is the other scav that I killed. Yeah, I'm just kill uh, grabbing this dude's stuff. Ooh, an SKS. And a black rock. Ah, and someone killed me. Single shot, I went down. Do you know where from? Uh, probably by the wood piles to the right, uh, so uh, towards the far side from you. But uh, that's pretty much a guess. But uh, nevertheless, that's been about two hours, so I think that's a very good point to draw Sorry, this episode. Sorry, about PMC. It's a very good point to draw this episode to a close so thank you very much for watching i do hope you have enjoyed it it's been a lot of fun for me i may carry on and play it a little bit more with my brother uh we'll see how it goes but uh regardless i need to take a break i need to get some food 
and uh, I need to try and recover some of these losses. Uh, but nevertheless, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you should do so now and you'll be told when I go live in the future. Otherwise, now. I'll see you next time for some more Escape from Tarkov. See you soon.